seen the, um, the post. You know I ain't gay. You know I ain't gay. You know I ain't gay. Your ex-girlfriend a man. Why you think she in jail with the men? She'd be on the other side. Nigga, you gay. You know I ain't gay. Niggas fuck guys up in here anyway. No, that, that ain't gay. That's just jail. You was on the outside fucking booty hole. No, did it. You know I ain't gay. Nigga, get off of that bullshit. And, um, you know people don't... You wouldn't even play like that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I ain't gay. <laughs> if I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know I'm lying. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Bang, bang, bang. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We have some news coming from the Floyd Schofield camp. And when I say Floyd Schofield, kid, also, uh-uh. We not talking about the son. We not talking about the fighter. We not talking about the future champion. We talk about the daddy. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> So apparently, you know, he's been going on a rampage having beefs with everybody, man. Salute to him. I think it's funny. Big salute. You know, I think I think it's entertainment, and I find it funny. But man, he be going back and forth, and he go back and forth, and um, you know, now he's, he's he's mixing it up with Tank. You know what I'm saying? And he said <laughs> he had a message for Tank. You know I ain't gay, bitch. I ain't gay. <laughs> we call you out because you're a great fighter, and to me, you the you're the king right now, as far as lightweights and stuff. It ain't personal. We love you. We know you're talented, but you got that crown, and we coming for it. Hopefully, we can fight you in 140, because I know Kid will beat you, and you know Kid will beat you. That's the crazy thing, all right? Y'all heard my boy, man. He said, you know better, man. Stop playing. He said, it's out of respect. It's out of love. You the big dog. So I like the fact that he gave uh, Tank his flowers, you know what I'm saying, Javante Tank Davis. And he's, he's, a, he's a man at uh, a 135, you know, lightweight. That's what he's saying. And what am I supposed to do? You want me to call out the, the little dogs? You know, you the big dogs. So we're going we going for your spot. We're going for you. So I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with it, man, at all. You know, I, I, I agree with him that you should reach up for the big dog. However, in, 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 in this case, you know, his last fight fight was against uh somebody uh, uh i think his name was swero who the fuck is that guy who the fuck is that no damn well who i am who the fuck is that I remember watching that fight and it was a DQ um, win for Kid Austin. The guy was making it rough. The guy was fighting a little dirty and he has a history of being dirty. And that's what he was in that fight, you know. But the, po the point is that, you know, you can get a win however you get a win. And, and that's great. But but like I said, the, the, the point is that when you want to fight somebody like Tank or the caliber of fighter like Tank, you want to ideally be on a, on a little streak, you know what I'm saying? Gather some momentum, you know and um be able to go into this fight confidently i think that if you go uh coming off that ugly win off of suero you know because he's disqual disqualified i don't think that really does anything for your confidence or your momentum and definitely not for the public uh, um to look at you as a viable threat against tank you know who delivers after, after delivers after delivers after delivers you know he and i think that at this point even with even excluding that fact that, you, that he doesn't really have a momentum right now uh also he's he's he's, he's young you know what i'm saying and i think that um at this point in his career, you'll be you should be looking to match him up with like Abdullah Mason or something like that. And I'm not saying that the father, the father should always have aspirations of climbing to the top of the mountain. So I agree with him there. But I'm saying his handlers, like he's with Golden Boy, right? Hopefully they bring him along progressively, just like Abdullah Mason, just like Top Rank's doing with Abdullah Mason. You know, I think that you got you. Um, he should he should move along, move forward. And I mean, he could jump into a title fight right now. He is ranked number two, so I do agree with him there for the WBA. He is ranked number two behind Williams and Payton. We know Williams and Payton's. Uh, uh, he has his hands tied right now after ducking Shakur. He's fighting uh, Tevin Farmer on November 16th. So, hey, and, and you know, the speculation is that Tank has a has a November 2nd date, you know, and um, we're just assuming that he's lacking an opponent, but nothing has been confirmed that that date is actually for him. Nothing has been confirmed that he's actually looking for an opponent. And you know, but there are some opponents circulating, right? Uh, Jose Rio Valenzuela, Edwin De Los Santos, you know, and um, 
and uh, there was somebody, oh, Lamont Roach. And, you know, I even heard some rumblings about George Cambosas, you know what I'm saying, ferocious. So I don't have no problem with Floyd Schofield Sr. throwing his name in the mix. And then why not, man? I mean, he is ranked number two. So if, if anybody's deserving of a title shot, it wouldn't be him by the rankings, you know. But I just think it's a little too early. Let uh, let Kid Austin Schofield marinate a little bit and, 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 um, and, and come of age progressively, you know what I'm saying, with a natural progression. But, hey, if he did jump in there with Tank, who do you have winning and how? I'm not going to lie, man. If, if that fight were to happen, happen right now today and, and you know, like i said kid austin he's one of my favorite prospects right now in all the boxing forget just that 135 i'm talking about all the boxing period i have a lot of confidence in him and I, I'm, I'm excited to see him more often you know but i would say right now it's a little bit too early so i would have tank by stoppage man i would say like six or seventh round stoppage in my opinion but you know obviously uh floyd, floyd schofield senior begs to differ and he said his son is ready right nah you know what i'm saying and he said the sparring experience as well that he always um all, all, always um brings up to the forefront he's like hey man we sparred these guys and you know we gave him some trouble we gave him more than they can handle you know so he always references those old sparring sessions so we could see how it goes man but sparring ain't everything once you get under them lights you know philip hergovich supposedly sent daniel dubois to the hospital in sparring we saw what happened there uh frank martin uh supposedly gave javante tank davis that work in sparring we saw what happened there so you know so you gotta be careful of how much emphasis you put on the sparring but yeah i, li I like the energy though but man i appreciate y'all rocking me as always <laughs> i'm laughing because he said bitch i ain't gay <laughs> well y'all be easy man take care of yourselves remember with god we can do anything without god or nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets